Hello. In this Java tutorial, we are going to learn about nested if, else if, and else statements. Before watching this tutorial, you're going to want to have a general understanding of if, else if, and else statements. For more information on that topic, please click on the link in the upper right hand corner of this screen. Some important facts. An if, else if, and else can be nested inside a block of code attached to another if, else if, and else. Other control structures like while, do while, for, and others can also be nested inside each other. Let's look at a sample of some code. Here we have an outer if else statement, and inside the if we have a secondary if, else if, and else statement, and inside the else block of code we have another if and else if statement. These statements will only be evaluated if this Boolean expression is true. These statements will only be evaluated if this Boolean expression is false. Let's examine this code more closely. It can be helpful when preparing to trace a series of if and else statements to first identify which ones are attached to the other ones. First, we can see that this if is attached to this else. So depending on how this Boolean expression evaluates, we'll either do this block of code or this block of code. If we end up running this block of code, we can make a notation that these if, else if, and else are connected. This else if will check if this Boolean expression is false, and if both of these Boolean expressions are false, this block of code will run. On the other hand, in our else block, this if and this else if are attached. If this Boolean expression evaluates to true, we will run this line of code. If this doesn't evaluate to true, we will check this line of code, and if this one does evaluate to true, we will run this line of code. If neither of these Boolean expressions evaluate to true, we won't do either of them. Now let's try tracing this code. First, we're going to start by declaring x is equal to 5, and that will appear on our stack. Next, we're going to declare y and set it equal to 3, which also appears on our stack. Now, we evaluate this Boolean expression, x is less than 10. X is, in fact, less than 10. This evaluates to true, so we will run this block of code. Next, we evaluate the Y is not equal to 3. Y is, in fact, equal to 3, so this is a false statement. And we're going to go on and check the second Boolean expression attached to this else if. Y is less than or equal to 5, so this evaluates to true, and we output B. Since we found one that is true, we don't have to continue on, and we end up terminating our program. For more information on if, else if, and else in Java, please check this website, or type if, else, Java, Oracle into Google, and choose the first result. To see the next video in this sequence, please click on the video link in the lower left-hand corner of the screen. To see the entire curriculum, please click on the video link in the lower right-hand corner of the screen.